Afternoon driver, board passengers here at Perfleet before heading into London. So I'll press T to open the doors, set the car set reminder to 8 and convert to AC mode. So shoes up, headlights on and then pan up. Now we are in AC mode. Yeah, this is just a reskin of the 375 from the South London network. So it's going to be automatically in DC mode. And you can see there's a pantograph raised. I think on this part of the route it hasn't finished being... Um, the detail isn't finished because I don't think anyone actually expected you to drive down here. So the next stop is Raynham at 12.14, so reverse her to forward and power to notch 3 or full. So this is perfectly, the speed limit is 50 miles an hour and we have about 3 miles to our next stop, which is Raynham. The one in Essex, not Kent. So we are following along train 9 Romeo 29, the 1118 Shrewsburyness to London Liverpool Street. Calling at Shrewsburyness, Thought Bay, South End East, South End Central, West Cliff on Sea, Chalkwell, Lee on Sea, Benfleet, Pitsy, Stanford La Hope, East Tilbury, Tilbury Town, Grays, Perfleet, Raynham, Dagenham Dock, Barking, and London Liverpool Street. And I'm already speeding. So we we will be taking this train from Perfleet to Stratford, calling at Dagenham, uh, calling at Raynham, Dagenham Dock, and Barking. So what just crossed over us is HS1 from St Pancras towards Epsfleet, and we will pass we will run parallel with it again as we approach Dagenham. Speed limit is now going up to 60 miles an hour. And we can accelerate that now. So I'm driving a pair of class 3873s that are operated by T2C. I think T2C only use them during peak time because they just use 357s. On the left is a 39 or was. Uh, 395 to Babisham. So during like off peak, CTC normally use 357s out of Fenchurch Street towards Shoebury Ness. Shoebury Ness. Shoebury Ness. And during peak times, they use 387s just to probably to increase the capacity. I'm not sure if the 387s for C2C are short term because I think they only have six of them. 387, 301 to 387, 306. So we have about a mile left to Raynham. So we will be following HS1 all the way to Dagenham. Yeah, because the country is on lockdown, everybody is running a reduced service, so don't expect don't expect to see many trains. There are still a few trains, but not many, not as many as there should be. So the day of recording is the sixth of April, and I think this video should go out a week today. Up in the distance is Raynham Station. I should probably think about slowing down. Yeah, you should. So, at Raynham, I'm aiming to stop at the S car stop sign. Or the A car one. Whichever one there is. Either S or 8. There's another 387 to Shubaroness from Liverpool Street. So there's a car stop sign. 
Shuberry Ness. It's probably it's probably pronounced Shuberry Ness, not Shuberry Ness. And arrival at Raynham. The next stop is Dagenham Dock at 12:18. So reverse it to forward and power to full. So it's about in Raynham, the speed limit is 60 miles an hour, and we have about 2 miles to Dagenham Dock. So after Dagenham Dock, we'll, we, we will go past Ripple Yard Freightliner Terminal, then into Barking, then instead of going towards Fenture Street round the, round to the left, we'll go straight on towards Woodgrange Park, and then join the Great Eastern Main Line at Maryland. Then into Stratford. I'm not sure if this diversion is fairly, is fairly common, but I noticed that trains were running into running into Liverpool Street, so I just I took I took the opportunity to build a scenario or make one. I'll say it because the next video after this will be from Liverpool Street to Perthwaite, changing routes at Stratford. Because this route doesn't extend into Liverpool Street. So the the route that I'm on is the North London Goblin Favisham and Sheerness 2016, which is basically a merge speeding, which is basically a merge of the North London line, the Goblin line, London Favisham. Just all just put them together to make one giant map. And I really, I really like it. I wonder if I should do a video in a 92 on HS1 because that's what they were built for. Like a container train from Ipswich to Dagenham. I think the th only thing about that is that the container trains run in the middle of the night. And night time doesn't really look very good on my computer. So we are now approaching Dagenham Dock. So I'm aiming to stop at the 8 car stop sign. There's the 4 car, here's the 8 car. So over the top is the A19 dual carriageway. I think it's a dual carriageway. And you just gone past it. So arrival at Dagenham Dock. The next stop is Barking at 12.24. So if I look at my timetable, the train left Dagenham Dock at 12.17 and 3 quarters. And we have a few seconds left. Okay, I think, I think we can go now. So we're versa to forward, power to notch 3. So departing Dagenham Dock, the speed limit is 60 miles an hour, and we have about 3 miles to Barking. Where we join the Goblin Line and several London Underground Lines. And we also leave HS1. As that goes towards Trafford International and St Pancras. So it kind of travels underneath London. What's those track joints? So on the right is Ripple Lane, Ripple Freightliner Terminal, I think. It has Ripple in it. Yeah, I've never, I've never actually been here, so I kind of had to guess what's put in it. Yeah, so I think this place is one joint yard where trains come on and off HS1 to go further into Europe. 
or they would do if there wasn't a certain outbreak of a certain virus. Also, from looking at real-time trains, Eurostar has, I think they've completely suspended their service, for obvious reasons. I'm not sure about aircraft, I think planes have also, have also been suspended. So I think the sidings on the right are also part of Ripple Yard. Also, V doesn't work for the wipers. The horn works. So if you want an outside view of the reskin, it's by Super Arbs. I'll link it in the description. So it's basically just a Y three seven with blue doors and the C two C logo. So much. So we're driving 387, 302 and 304. We have about less than a mile to barking. I wonder if anyone else on YouTube has done this route. Probably. I haven't really checked. So as we approach Barking, the speed limit goes down to 45 miles an hour before we enter platform 8. So arriving into Barking, I may mean to stop at the 8 car stop sign, as most of the station buildings are closer towards this end. might be coming in a bit too fast. And I'm pretty sure that's not what he said. So the 8 car stop sign should be here on the right. And arrival at Barking. The next stop is Stratford, arriving at 12.31, so reverse over to forward, power to notch 3. So to passing Stratford, the speed limit is 45 miles an hour, or to embarking, the speed limit is 45, and we have about 4 miles to Stratford. So instead of taking the line left towards Fenchurch Street, we're going straight on towards Woodgrange Park, and then join the Great Eastern at Forest Gate. So land to the left is the usual usual route into Fenchurch Street. And we're going up and over towards Woodgrange Park. Oh yeah, this route is set before the Goblin was electrified. So if you play this scenario for yourself by downloading it from Google Drive, you would have seen a 378 coming to platform 7 because platform 1 is not electrified. On the left is East Ham, is it West Ham? I think it's East Ham. East Ham Depot. Yeah, the class 357 doesn't exist in train sim yet, so I'll just put a bunch of 387s in it. Way more than C2C actually have. So as we, as we approach Woodgrange Park, the speed limit shall go down towards 30 and then to 15. Another 387 to Shoebury Ness. Shoebury Shrewsbury. With Ness on the end. So up, up in the distance, you should you should be able to see Woodgrange Park Station, where the speed limit goes down to 15. Yeah, the frame rate for this part of the route is really good, really smooth, getting about 25 FPS. I think I might have slowed down a bit too early. So 
so over the junction is 30 and the limit through here is 15 yeah very slow So this is Woodgrange Park Station, as I, and as you can see, the platforms here used to be a lot longer. I think the maximum coach length here is four coaches, which is, which I think is the length of the Class 710s that London Overground have. So the 30 limit is going straight on or left. 15 still applies to the line that we're taking. So the line to the left is the Goblin line to Gospel Oak and the line we're taking joins up with the Great Eastern Main Line from Shunnerfield. Norwich and South End, South End Victoria, and Norwich and Ipswich. So the limit is going up to 25, then I don't know what it is, then down to 50. So the limit is now 25. Now going down to 20. Like what's the point in that? What's the point of putting it up to 25 and then immediately back down to 20? Or can I just keep it at 20? So we are now joining the Great Eastern Main Line. We are coming on the... Uh, we are coming on the Up Electric. Also known as the Up Slow. And then the lines on the right are the up and down fast or main or whatever they're actually called. The limit is going up to 50 as our train joins the Great Eastern and we can now accelerate up to 50. So the next station we'll pass through is Forest Gate. Yeah, I looked on real time trains and it seems that the stopping train from Liverpool Street to Shenfield, stopping at all stations, is still running every 10 minutes despite there being a pandemic. It's like, why is this area still so frequent if there's nobody using the train? And I'm speeding, I'm speeding again. There's a stopping train to Sheffield. Yeah, because the class 345s don't exist in Trantum yet, I kind of replaced them with 321s. I also don't have the 317s that TFL used to have. The next station coming up is Maryland, which is fairly close to Stratford. Yeah, I watched a video on I watched a video from PTG Rail uh, as he did a route on the Great Eastern, and I've, and I've read in the comments that someone actually did actually did use the train between Stratford and Maryland, even though you probably could walk it. So Stratford Regional should be coming up around this corner. You can also see that the signals are very really close to each other. So approaching Stratford, I'm aiming to stop at the 8 car stop sign. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed me taking this pair of 387s through South London on Essex. So I like the video if you liked it. 
subscribe for my changing content because there's a lot of it. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time while we, while we take this train back in the other direction. So arrival at Stratford. Where's the 8 car? Oh, this, oh it's S. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, I'll hear you next time. Not really see.